Let's start with Maria this hour in Chicago. Hi, Maria. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Very excited to talk to you. Thank you so much. Sure. Um, my question my question is this. It's going to be uh, – well, I guess I'll ask the question first, and then I'll give you the background. Okay. Is it financial – is it finan- just financially speaking, not, not regarding how I feel about home ownership, just financially speaking? I'm 58 years old. I, 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 I have no debt. I have fully funded emergency fund. I have fully funded retirement, both Roth and 401k. How much? I own my, how much is in it? There's yeah. about a million in it. Okay. Cool. Um, Good for you. And well I, done. Between the, between the both. I raised my four kids. They're all out of college. Um, I'm single, and I my home, home's worth about three fifty, and I paid it off. It's, it's paid off. Okay. Taxes are really high. Taxes are really high in Illinois. About I heard a thousand the rumor. A month for taxes. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, so I, I think I want to downsize because I don't need my house anymore. Cool. And I'm not I, – I, so I would go to, like, a townhouse. Okay. So just financially just financially speaking, it would it be a really bad idea for the next 30 years for me just to rent? And the reason why I ask that is because in my heart, I've had so much responsibility in my whole life, raising my four kids, keeping up with my house. I wouldn't mind just writing a check every month and just be done. Mm. And uh, finance, but everybody's telling me, like financially speaking, you could sell your house for three fifty, mm-hmm. go buy something for three fifty or less. Mm-hmm. I'm like, but then I got, you know, then I got to worry about the house again, the windows, the roof, the mm-hmm. gutters, the, mm-hmm. all that, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, <laughs> that question makes uh, sense. No, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. I understand. <laughs> okay. So, uh, did you raise your kids by yourself, or your single mom? For the most part, I mean, I was divorced, and they were very, very young. He was, he was. So for twenty years, active, for twenty years, you've been a she she bear out here fighting, <laughs> scratching, <Yeah>. clawing, <laughs> and you've cleaned the gutters. You've done whatever it took, and you're just tired. Yes, I work overtime every month at work. Yeah, to make sure I was. Yes, I thought you were I that girl. My house in time. I thought you were that girl. You sound like that girl. <laughs> you sound like a warrior, a warrior princess. Um. So, uh. Well, t- let's first answer your question, and then let's try to look for a solution, okay? The okay. problem with your th- – the good part about your theory is you don't have to screw with stuff because the landlord does. So you get all this stuff out of your life. The bad part about this is think about what rents have done in the last 30 years. <laughs> gone up. Gone yeah. up. Gone you up. think? Yeah. And think about what they're going to do during the 30 years that we're talking. So if you rent instead of owning a paid-for property going into retirement, you're destabilizing your life because every year your housing cost is going to go up. True. So that's why it's a bad plan. It's not a bad plan to rent for a short period of time while you're rearranging things or you're in a transitionary stage or something like that. But renting for 30 years means you are a victim of the real estate market instead of riding the wave. Can I throw something else at you? Yep. Okay, so I put down on paper, because this has been, my God, stressing me out. So I put down on paper my taxes versus all my bills in my house. Oh, I think you need to move. I think you need to move. Okay, but like I, I even projected cost if I was in a townhouse. Yeah, uh, here's, what I, here's what I want you to Here's what I would do if you were my little sister okay. and you're old enough to be my little sister, okay? Oh, um, not, not your older sister? <laughs> no, I'm 60, so I'm, I got you oh, beat. Okay. <laughs> but the, uh, uh, but so, so uh, I would tell you, you don't want to work on crap and you don't want crap breaking and you are a millionaire. So you need to go a, buy a brand new condominium where someone does all the exterior maintenance and every appliance and everything inside is brand freaking new. You earned it. You're a rock star, and you need to enjoy a little bit of this money. And it's like buying a, a really nice car that's in really good shape after you've been driving a freaking beater, and it breaks down all the time. And, you know, my cars don't break down now. Back when I had crap cars, because I was trying to get here, they broke down all the time. But you're you're a warrior girl, and you need to you need to enjoy the spoils of the battles that you have won, and that's a million dollars in a three hundred fifty thousand dollars paid for house. You're worth a million and a half dollars. I want you to sell this house. I want you to buy a three hundred fifty thousand dollar condo. You may want to move uh, to an area that is that probably might feel a little bit oh like it's a little too richy rich for you, but you need to live there anyway. 
Wow. Okay, I'll think about this. Thank you. Very good information. What Thank do you think, you. John? Yeah, I think that transition when you it's when you're a single mom, when you're raising kids and you're putting them through college and you're saving and you're working, and you're doing overtime, it's kind of like being gazelle intense for yeah. 20, 30 years yeah. and suddenly you're uh, your identity is, I'm a sprinter, I'm a fighter. That's what I do. Yeah. And how do you settle back down? You could hear it like, man, for someone who's accomplished what she's accomplished, the fact that this decision's keeping her up means it's not about this decision. Mm-hmm. It's about I've got to shift gears and become something else, right? Yeah. That's a big, big transition. Yeah. What do you do when you come home from a 20-year campaign on the road? Oof. With Alexander the Great, and you're one of his soldiers after 20 years, how do you stop fighting and, and scratching? You will pick fights clawing. with your neighbors, with your you dog, know, how do you with stop everybody. It, you know, and so, you know, and that's what she is. She's a warrior princess. That's right. And so, you know, she's been, these single moms, man, they, they get her done. These are some <laughs> oh, of the toughest people in uh, on our planet. Mm-hmm. And um, so, yeah, that, that that's a... Uh, uh, and that's who she is, and and she's like, I, I you know, she's kind of telling herself good things, like I deserve a rest. That's right. And, and, and Dave, we talk a lot about people making decisions out of stress or out of um, anxiousness. That's very similar to making decisions out of exhaustion. I'm just, mm. I'm done. Mm-hmm. I'm out. Right. I just want to. I, mm-hmm. I know the math is bad. I know it's going to destabilize me twenty years from now. I'm exhausted. I, I don't want to fix I'm, any. I'm exhausted. Else. I don't right? want to talk to any more freaking repairmen. I've talked to people who get divorced because I'm just tired of it. Yeah. Right. So I love your I love your idea of man. Right now it feels good. It's not going to be good down the road. No, it's a bad long term plan. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would buy something brand and and investigate the builder and make sure it's an incredibly high end, high quality builder. So you are living in a luxury situation in terms of the service you're going to be provided as well as the goods. Love it. You've earned it. You're a millionaire!